He's so explosive. He's six foot eight. He's got all kinds of length. His wingspan is seven foot, probably seven foot plus now. He, he can score at all three levels. He's got a mid-range game. He's got a, a game behind the arc, and he certainly can score at the basket. Vance Downs gets a close-up view of the abilities of Harrison Barnes. As his basketball coach for the last four years at Ames High School, Downs knows more about the person and player that is Barnes. He's extremely talented, uh, works extremely hard, and uh, um, has a lot of uh, positive qualities. But as far as coaching him, uh, we coach him just like we do every other, other, every other player. And I, I realize that we're very fortunate in that, in that extent. You know, a lot of number one players across the nation aren't, aren't as easy to coach as this kid. Skogan trying to drive, had it deflected away. Barnes picks up the loose ball. He's going to take it all the way to the other end, lay it in. Ames's KASI radio sports director, Dave Sproul, also has a front row seat to watch Harrison Barnes. Wing three, too strong. Barnes there on the backside, grabs the rebound and stuffs it home. The more notoriety Harrison Barnes got, the more people turned out uh, just out of curiosity to see him play uh, outside of this gym. And you get people who would otherwise have no reason to uh, come out to an Ames High basketball game. Barnes led the Ames High School Little Cyclones to a perfect season and a state championship his junior year. He tries to pass again, and once again, Barnes is in his way. This time he takes it all the way to the other end, and the one-handed jam. During that junior year, Barnes and his teammates had several high-profile guests at their games, including several Division I college coaches from basketball's elite programs. It is attention Barnes has been receiving since an impressive summer camp performance following his sophomore season. But it was before his senior season began that Barnes set the stage for his college choice with a press conference. It was carried live on one of the ESPN channels, ESPNU, as well as several Iowa media outlets. And his fans were there too. Coach Roy Williams. While Iowa State was on a short list, Barnes decided to leave the state and play for North Carolina. The Tar Heels have won two of the last five national championships. I, I haven't thought twice about going to North Carolina. Barnes has close to a four point grade point average, plans to major in international business and graduate in three years. But for now, he says he wants to focus on his senior year with his teammates. It's great to just be able to set that aside and just really uh, focus all my energy towards Ames High basketball. A lot of people don't know that recruiting uh, requires a lot of energy and a lot of time from you, so just be able to focus solely on Ames High basketball, is, it's a lot of, it's a lot of stressful, stress-free, I should say. Barnes also shows a confidence and poise during interviews. He even displays a comfort level with his coach on live TV. Now, I know you said your coach wasn't too calm. I'm going to let you interview head coach Vance Downs because you know him better than I do, so ask a couple questions for him. Um, Coach Downs, you're somewhat known to be a little uptight before games. How do you feel like you, know, you were tonight? I thought I did a much better job tonight than, than I have over the last you know, two or three games, and I think that has a lot to do with uh, how loose you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I have done I had done a few things like that in my uh, my career. Uh, it's been it's been fun. I'm all about having a good time, and Coach Downs will be the first one to tell you that. You do a nice job asking these questions. Well, there you have it, folks. Coach Vance Downs, Ames High, 30 and 0. Just go ahead.